Today we have something very, very exciting to show you. Now here on our farm, we do a lot of plant propagation and this is by far the most fun thing we do on this farm, period. We're gonna be pulling up cuttings today. Now, just for y'all, we're gonna pull up at least one of everything we have growing so you can see how awesome this is. Because once we pull everything up, that's the boring part, because then you gotta go pot it up. So come with me and let's see what we have. So as you can see, there are so many weeds in our propagation beds, like there's so many. And we used to try to pull them and now we've decided we just let them grow with the cuttings and as we pull cuttings we trash the weeds and that's just how we do it. So all the cuttings that we're harvesting today for you guys to see were stuck as hardwood cuttings and they would have been stuck January, February, something like that. So we're at the end of May. So this is just a few months of sitting in a sand bed being misted regularly. The first variety that we're going to pull up for you is a snowball viburnum these plants are fantastic they are one of my favorites they're often mistaken for a hydrangea because they have these big white fluff ball blooms they're absolutely fantastic so let's see what we have here so there we have it a beautiful snowball viburnum cutting now throughout this bed there's plenty of death but there's plenty that also took so we just trash the ones that didn't make it and then we make money on these. In this small section here we have Miss Kim Lilacs. They bloom really really pretty and this is the first time we've ever succeeded propagating these. As I'm looking at this it's looking like about an 80% success rate which is really great. So let's see the roots. Ooh, that one's got some nice roots on it. They're really in there. A Miss Kim Lilac, yay! We have a really small section right here where we did frost proof gardenias. It it looks like most of them did not make it, but I do see one right here. It looks like these must have been really, really small cuttings. This must have been a very, very small cutting. We have figured out with a lot of varieties that a larger cutting does propagate much better, but frost proof gardenia. This section here is full of sky pencil hollies. These are great for the corner of a house or just something real slender for the landscape. Doesn't get very fat, but it gets nice and tall. It, oh! <laughs> oh, now I'm all wet. Gross. Anyways. The sky pencils are an evergreen variety, but we did stick them in the winter, and as you can see, they did just fine. So, my understanding is that with these, you can propagate them pretty much any time of year, which is awesome. In this section here, we have golden Hinoki cypress. I hope I said that right. If not, I'm so sorry. And you can see here, we have a decent bit of death. There's just about half of them that just died in the field. But let's see if we have any roots. So you can see here that it's it has started to form some calluses, which means it will develop roots, but these are just not ready yet. They just need more time in this bed. Since that one is not completely ready, I have a feeling that most of them are like that. A lot of times these big evergreens take longer to propagate than other things. So we'll just leave these in their bed and give them as much time as they need. I would imagine they probably need up to a year before they're rooted in really well. This section here is purple leaf sand cherries and we have like two that made it. This one it was a very, very low success rate. The research that I've done suggests that we need really big cuttings for these and with the plants that we currently have on our farm, they're just not very big yet. So as our farm gets more established, we'll have bigger cuttings to stick in the sand. But for now, we just work with what we got and it looks like we got two. So let's pull one up and see how it looks. It's really in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm adding some cups to these because I don't really like getting squirted while I'm talking to y'all. And the mist is on a timer, so it's just going to keep going off. 
All right, so right here we have two sections of Rose of Sharon. Those are one of the easiest things to propagate, but for some reason, both sections didn't make it. There's not one. So moving on to our Spirea. Now Spirea is so beautiful. It flowers in the spring. And it looks like we got a decent bit to take. Very nice. This is crazy too because it looks like the cutting that we stuck, the stick died, but it came up from the roots. Isn't that cool? That is cool. This section is Ligustrum recurve. Again, I hope I said that right. If not, I'm so sorry. But it looks like there's a lot that took root in this section too. I see a few dead ones, but also just some really big, Ooh. fat, happy leaves. Oh, oh there's a Connor. No, look at it. Oh, that looks beautiful. Goodbye, slug. Why is that stopping? <laughs> I, get some of my cups. I need more cups. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel to get sprayed? So besides being sprayed continuously, this is still the most fun thing we do on this farm. I love digging for roots. It's like, oh, so rewarding. This section is green velvet boxwood, and I'm seeing a lot, a lot of green little leaves. Like all these little babies look like they are probably rooted so which one i think i'll choose this one let's see if it took root oh no roots on that one maybe these need more time too okay let's do a couple more and see oh nothing Tiny yet little root. nothing yet you think there's a root on there there was a little root on there otherwise okay yeah. All right, we'll show you one more, but I believe these need a little bit more time. Yeah. Somehow Virginia creeper has ended up in this propagation bed, and I am so allergic to that stuff. So it's right there, right there, right there. So we'll have to figure out what to do with those. But let's reach over here and see if we can find one. This is the Heller Japanese Holly. And I'll bet you these need more time, just like the other variety. Maybe not. I think I feel so much. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Look. Oh yeah. That's much better. Oh, so cute. They look awesome. In this section, we have Techni arborvitae, and I just see a couple of dead ones. All those little bumps on the bottom of that stick there are calluses and that is where the roots will come out when they're ready okay this whole section here is murray cypress trees this is a massive fail in my opinion there's so much more death in this bed than normal but we also had an issue with our propagation system over the winter and these got hit the hardest with a bunch of sunlight while the misting system was down but I do see some. There's some green. I do see some right here. Let's see if this one is rooted. This one's are really dead. It's beautiful. Okay. It's got big calluses. So yeah, there's some really nice calluses on those. So the ones that did make it will root. They just have not yet. This section here is Pyramidalis arborvitae. So this variety here, we've not actually sold any of these. It's one of the varieties that we've not had a lot of. So we've just been working on propagating. But look, that one is just starting to form a root. Once we have these grown out big enough to sell, I believe they will sell super well. Let's pick up one more and see if we have any big roots. But there's a good chance that it just needs some more time as well. Oh yeah, here we go. Very nice. So these will be ready to dig up soon. Very soon. Right here we have a teeny tiny section of Golden Globe, but there is a lot that are doing well. So let's see. Do we have any roots? 
So these are very, very close to being ready to pot up, but they need just a little bit more time so those roots can get a little bit bigger. Next to that, we have some raspberries, and I see zero that made it. Woohoo! Do you see any? <laughs> Thought all the raspberries were dead, but check that out. The tops of the sticks look really dead, but it appears that they might be growing roots anyway. Right here we have green giants. These tend to propagate super well for us. And similar to all of our evergreens this far on this tour is it has calluses and just barely starting to produce roots. So we will let those have a little more time as well. Next we have the Nigra arborvitaes. Those are a really cool plant. We haven't sold any of these either because we haven't had a whole lot of them. And same thing, lots of nice calluses and no roots yet. Next, we have Nellie Stevens holly. Sorry, I read the tag wrong. Those are needle points, not Nellie Stevens. And no roots on this one, but the cutting still looks really healthy. Uh, here we are. Very nice. Nice. Quinn said he wanted to pull up some cuttings too because he's not having as much fun not pulling them up. He's kind of sleepy. <laughs> we have corkscrew willows here um, and they look like they did amazing. Maybe we probably had 90% success in these. So let's pull one of these up. We've grown so much since we put them in two months ago. They have grown a lot. Look at this. So that was a, a nice eight inch stick that we put in and this is all new growth and all these. So this only took two to three months as a hardwood cutting and it's got nice roots, new growth, and they grow fast. Yeah, you can see them sticking out right there amongst all these weeds. Lots of weeds. These ones are weeping willows in this section. Doesn't look like they did as good as the corkscrew willows. But here is one. That's so cool. So same thing, about two to three months. And we have roots. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for our plant propagation tour. We have lots of varieties in there. We have a lot of success and also a lot of failures. If you have any questions about any of the plants that we have out here, feel free to ask. Um, we'll answer any questions that we can and hope to help you with your business or whatever you have going on, even if you're just curious. We are so excited to pot all these up and have a great year in like two years when they're ready to sell. That is the thing about plant propagation is it is not immediate. We will not make any money off of these for a quite a while, probably about two years for most of these varieties. We have to just wait. And so until then.